Welcome back. The time is now 1114. And if you love some good music and some old fashioned barbecue, then you need to make your way to the Bluegrass and Barbecue Festival. It's a partnership with the South Huntsville Maine Business Association and this guy, the County Commissioner Phil Riddick, who joins me now. So first, good morning to you and thank you for coming on. Oh, you're quite welcome. Happy to do it. Well, talk to me a little bit about how this came together, the Bluegrass and Barbecue. Well, I'm kind of an old bluegrass guy myself, so I was kind of leaned in that direction. But we had created this park down there several years ago at Southside Park, and it's a beautiful park, lovely setting with the mountain in the background, and uh, we wanted to get some exposure to the park for the residents down there. So we need to have some events down here. So uh, being a little background in bluegrass music, I said, let's have a bluegrass festival because we don't really have anything like that in Huntsville. We do not. So uh, that's kind of how I got started. I love that. Mm -hmm. And it's been going very well because you're in your sixth year yes. now. But there is a little change to this year's festival. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, uh, we're backing it up an hour. So we're going to start at one instead of two, which is good. And uh, of course, uh, finish a little sooner because it was in the fall, it gets dark, it starts to get a little cool. So last year and a couple of years we've experienced to get people didn't bring a coat <laughs> and uh, kind of got chilly. So uh, anyway, we're just going to back it up. And it also gives people opportun opportunity to eat a little bit before it gets started. So it's a little closer to the lunch hour. So And then we're going to have uh, four bands this year instead of three bands. I so, love that. More entertainment, right. more opportunities to have fun with your entire family. I do want to talk about some of the bands that will be there performing. Sure. Well, first of all, we've got uh, Jim and Inga Wood, and they're from uh, the southern uh, Tennessee area. Jim is a five-time Tennessee state fiddle champion. Oh, that's amazing. And he's won the Alabama state fiddle champion. He's, he's a, uh, a recording and session musician and does a lot of teaching. Very good musician. And then uh, a local group, All Huntsville, the Grastronauts, are playing next. And then after that, we have... Um, the Ancient Tones, which is a regional group. Uh, they're from North Alabama, but I think every one of them live in a different city. Uh, and then uh, the Becky Buller Band is out of Southern Tennessee, not too far up the road in Tullahoma, Manchester. She is a, uh, a touring musician, uh, recording artist, and has been on the Grand Ole Opry and other things. So they're very good. So oh, we're yeah. happy to have them. They're going to put on a really good show. I think they're going to put on a great show. So for our viewers who are watching, what do they need to bring with them when they attend? Bring your appetite, appetite. And, and, a, and a lawn chair. <laughs> and a jacket, just in case. Yeah, you. <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> I love that. Well, the Bluegrass and Barbecue Festival is Saturday, October 12th. It is from 1 until 7 o'clock, and it is over at the Southside Park. Well, Commissioner, I want to thank you so much for coming on and to talk to us about this, because yeah. it seems like a good time. Yeah, it will be. And if I could just add one thing, Southside Park is uh, on Cheney Thompson Road, and it's about a half a mile south of Challenger School. So a lot of people don't know where the park is. So. I love it. I love those locators, too. Yeah. Let them know. Oh, yeah. Well, it has been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very you. much. And make sure you stay with us, because we'll be right back after.